Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with the final part of the AVS Video Editor series. This is part 7. Um, this is going to be regarding producing the final product. I'm just going to give you some tips on how to produce this effectively and to give you that uh, perfect aspect ratio in YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some quick stuff to show you how to produce a good. We're going to add this picture first. And then we'll add this video. We'll mute it so we can't hear it. And it's just going to be that moving stuff. We'll delete the rest of that. So there you go. Once we added those, we'll add some of those down here. And we'll add some music, maybe for the final product. And then we'll add that. So there you go. Let's just say this is your final product that we added. Now if you'll notice, this gray part right here and this black part right here. That's not going to be good if you're going to upload this video to YouTube. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this part over here that says Project Aspect Ratio. It looks like a little computer screen there with a the drop down arrow. You click that, you'll notice that this setting is on Custom. You do not want it to be Custom. You always want it to be a 16 by 9 ratio. And this warning is going to pop up. Just press OK. Now if you'll notice, this video, there is no gray outline. There's no black outline either. But on this picture, there's still a black outline there. We do not want that to be there. Just because a 16 by 9 ratio is going to make it a full screen, it's going to make it more HD. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply an effect called the zoom effect. And we're just going to shorten it so it's over this picture. And we're going to edit that effect. And what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in. You see the black outline right there. We're going to zoom in so that black outline is no longer there. This is only going to work for some pictures where you you can zoom in so it looks okay see we got no black outline here and the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 so that's good you want to reduce your file 16 by 9 I'm just gonna keep saying that you want to reduce it 16 by 9 because that's perfect for youtubers and it looks good on your final projects now this is important when you're producing a final video in AVS video editor just because this is a non-activated version, you're going. there's going to be a watermark that's going to overlay your video for the first minute. So you can go into where you have your media library. You can go into this folder called Backgrounds. It's going to have these all plain colored backgrounds. Just select any that you would like and drag it down into here. And you're just going to drag it so it's about a minute. You actually want it like 1.9 or 1.7, something like that just because the watermark does carry over for like a tenth of a second. So you add this plain background because when you produce the final project the watermark is going to overlay that first minute and then once the file is produced you just upload this into a video editor like Windows Live, Windows Live Movie Maker and you just cut out that first minute so your project will still be there. Now when producing it, once you have that plain overlay you press this button that says produce. We'll see if it pops up here. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh shoot. Oh, I crashed. Okay, sorry about that. We just had another technical difficulty. But this program does crash a few times, so um, right back to where this produce button is. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Once you press produce, this menu will come up. This is the 6.3 version. I don't know if the newer version has a different setup, but you can create it as a file, as a disk for DVD, a multimedia device, or create a file you can share for the internet. I always create it as a file. I've never done these other three options, so I don't know much about them. So we're just going to stick with the file option now. You just press next. You can create it as these all files. I create as an AVI file always never done it differently you can make GIFs out of this too which is pretty cool and you wanna press this drop down arrow you want to press I always choose HD video 720p but 1080p works just fine um, HD 720p makes it of course HD and it does make it full screen so you can see all the information about your video down here all the information about your audio 
And if you want to change the frame rate and other stuff, you can press this advanced button, which I already clicked on. You can change the different codecs and the frame rates and stuff, which I usually don't mess with because I don't know much about them. So once you have everything set up there, you press the next button. Uh, you choose your output folder. Um, I created an old folder for this. You can title your video. Oh, so let's just put that. You can do your final actions. You can close the application once the video is done. And then when you press the create button, that warning is going to come up saying that this is a non-activated version of the video editor and then a watermark will show up. So you just press yes and then once the video is done you go into a separate video editor like Windows Live Movie Maker. You just upload that file into there and you cut out the first minute and then your video should be fine as you edit it. So that's good. Also, if you want to produce it differently, if you want to produce as a DVD, you can choose choose all these DVD options right here. Uh, I've never made a DVD, so again, I don't know much about it. But I'm guessing if you just try and test some stuff out, you can make different chapters and all this stuff. I, I really don't know, because I don't make DVDs. But I'm also guessing that that watermark will be in the DVD section, so I don't really know how you could cut out that watermark if you're making a DVD. So I would just stick into making a file, uploading it into a different editor, cutting out that first minute, and then putting it on a DVD. But these options do look pretty cool. Like, that is pretty cool. So, there's again, there's not much to this producing thing, but uh, this is just to tell you that that watermark will show up for the first minute and if your video is pretty long that watermark will show up again in like the third or fourth minute so you might wanna just check on that before you like fully edit like fully cut that that first minute so just be careful be aware of that um, that's all I have to say for for producing the file uh, this will conclude the basic series of the ABS video editor tutorial um, if you have any questions about any any of the series that I've made, uh, comment below or contact me. Um, if you'd like to know how to download this free AVS video editor for the non-activated version, uh, contact me. You can look it up on Google. It's like the first one that comes up. So this has been a fun series, so thanks for watching.